started with this very orange but um, cool lined dresser that I found on Facebook Marketplace. And from the front, you can see that it's solid wood because the different colors and um, it looks, you know, you can very clearly see that the dark brown and then the light brown. And so that's a really good way to check if it's real wood. And you can always ask the person you're buying too. I'm using a very affordable, easy to find electric sander. They are um, readily available at your local hardware store and you can start with an 80 grit sandpaper or a 60 grit sandpaper and one piece of advice I would give you is to constantly change out your sandpaper pad because uh, it will just make so much um, faster work for you and I see a lot of people sometimes using a pad that's just really worn down and it's not sanding at the level it could be so definitely change that out as often as you need After I got this all sanded with the electric sander, I had to go back and hand sand some of the smaller areas. And that, although it was a little tedious, it um, didn't take that much time. And I got through with this project in about a weekend. Um, if you want a lighter wood, you can check out my bleached wood tutorial. Um, it's a pretty popular one. And if your wood is especially orange, you might want to do that. This dresser is really cool because um, the previous owners converted it into a TV console by just using some cool hinges. Here I am talking about my hardware and I'll link that below if you guys want to pick some of that up. It's super affordable on Amazon. The next step I'm going to do is mix half water and half Minwax whitewash pickling stain in a cup. thing you're going to do is throw on some gloves get some paper towels and you're gonna start wiping this on the dresser as though you're sort of washing the dresser with it and just rubbing it into the grain um, this doesn't take a lot of precision or accuracy it is pretty fail proof so don't worry too much just throw it on there and then wipe off any excess
I was really happy with just one coat of the white wash, but if you want to go lighter, you can apply two or apply it at full strength. I would recommend applying two coats rather than full strength just because I think it's more forgiving. You're going to wait for this to dry and then you're going to be using Age Joke Minwax Gel Stain. Make sure you get the gel stain because it is like a hybrid between regular stain and paint and this is an oil based product so whatever you do make sure you've got your protective gear on and I just flip over to paper towels because I felt like that applied it in a very thin coat and nice and evenly so you're rubbing it in the direction of the grain which um, in these little squares is pretty easy to do and then on around the squares I actually go um, in just a square shape I went against the grain on the um, middle parts and if you've got any excess stain you can just wipe it off with a paper towel it is pretty forgiving in that it's an oil based stain and doesn't dry very quickly on you If I had tried to apply this stain straight to the wood, you wouldn't even be able to tell um, that I, I don't know, it just does not look the same. I've tried it. And so applying that whitewash as a base is really crucial to getting these lighter brown and gray colors. And there you have it. It's all done. I think it turned out beautiful. I am just in awe of the colors and I think it's so perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this kind of stuff make sure you like and subscribe. Find me on Instagram and see you in the next video.